Last February, we were blessed with a winter wonderland. A couple of inches of snow on a fabulous Saturday morning. Unforgettable. Well, what will the coming cold months bring? Chief Meteorologist Paul Barris brings you his winter weather outlook. Hi, everybody. Boy, I bet you wish something like this would be happening. I know a lot of you do. Some people don't like the snow at all, but uh, this was great. This was actually uh, back in February, February 8th. Uh, this looks like it's uh, somewhere at UTC, but uh, we had about 2.7 inches of snow back on February 8th. And December 10th, we had less than a half inch of snow. So uh, it's a lot of fun. I know a lot of people wish it for even more than that coming up. Let's take a look at our stats uh, for normal winter. Uh, we get about 3.9 inches. Last winter's, again, we had about 3 inches. You had everything together. So, again, 2.7 inches on, uh, back in February. And that was about it. Otherwise, we had a very, very, very warm uh, winter last year. December of 2019, we were almost seven inches above normal. January, we were almost seven inches above normal. February, we were over three inches above normal. So, you know, that just, uh, there's not, hardly any way you're going to get a decent snowstorm out of that. Uh, La Nina is what causes uh, the uh, patterns in the uh, upper atmosphere. But what La Nina is, is actually a warming and a cooling of uh, El Nino and La Nina, the uh, warming and the cooling of the Pacific Ocean in the tropics. When we have a La Nina, which is what we have this year, the pattern is such that uh, it really warms up over the Pacific uh, Northwest and it really cools down across the midsection of the country and the jet stream generally stays north of us. This is on average and that's the pattern that seems to be setting up. We look at this forecast too from the National Weather Service. It's called the Climate Forecast System. And uh, their prediction is for cooler than normal temperatures. Just want to show you, that's one of the things that we look at. We look at a lot of stuff. But, uh, and it looks like it's going to be uh, wetter uh, than this winter, too, uh, than normal. That's according to a computer model. And the National Weather Service looked at that, and they looked at a lot of other things. And they're saying over the western half of the country, well above normal. And pretty much over the southern half of the country, temperatures uh, pretty much warmer than normal, near normal, further off to the north. The winter precipitation should be near normal around here, but the further south you go, drier and probably wetter. And this is from the National Weather Service. That's their forecast. So you're wondering what I'm thinking on this. This is what I'm thinking right now. We're going to be above normal, about one to two degrees above normal on average. Uh, northern half of the country is going to be well below normal, and they're probably going to have a harsh winter. As far as snowfall goes, the real heavy snow is going to be probably north of St. Louis, all the way up into the Canadian border, and I think we're going to be below normal. So. If you look at that, we may get one or two inches of snow this year on average. Now, the jet stream pattern is such that we're going to stay fairly warm. The jet stream north of us, that means uh, that we're going to be warm. Now, this doesn't mean that the jet's going to ever not drop south of us, but there's a very good likelihood that on average for most of the winter, it's going to stay off to the north. So my winter outlook is this. It's going to be above normal temperatures on average, near normal precipitation uh, for rainfall and snow, as far as the water content goes. But as far as snowfall goes, right now I'm thinking it's going to be below normal snowfall for around here, which is uh, pretty much what we've seen over the past few years. So I'm going with the trend. I hope you enjoy whatever it is, and I hope you get exactly what you're uh, looking for as far as winter weather.